Now at 5 a.m. on WKYT This Morning and this Memorial Day, many folks in the bluegrass will be honoring military members who died while serving our country. We'll have a look at just where some of those services will be held coming up in a few minutes. Crews from multiple counties will continue the search this morning for a missing jet skier in Mercer County. And after several deadly crashes on Kentucky's roadways over the weekend, we have a reminder to try to stay safe as you're headed home following the holiday. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning. It's nice to have you with us here on WKYT, bright and early here on this Memorial Day morning. Uh, we've had a beautiful weekend, no doubt about that. We're starting to see some changes as we go through today and into tomorrow. Meteorologist Jim Caldwell is on duty this morning in our first alert weather center. Good morning. And good morning to you. Saturday, Sunday, fine. And it's an extended weekend for a lot of folks out there being off work today. The problem is we couldn't go three in a row. Showers and thunderstorms will be back, especially into the afternoon and evening. And we're tracking some of the energy and some of those showers out there this morning. Maybe some of this spills over before noontime, but the better chances will likely occur once we get past noon into the afternoon hour. 68 degrees right now in Lexington, 64 down the road in London, and more mid 60s showing up out to our east. Let's plan your Memorial Day as we'll likely track showers and storms into the afternoon and evening hours, maybe a stray one around noon. Then you can see temperatures maxing out around 83 degrees with better chances of rain lurking in the area. This is only the beginning. We're going to have several rain chances. As a matter of fact, I'll ruin the whole seven day for you. Every day has a chance of rain, and it's somewhere and in some form or fashion. Tomorrow, though, we could be talking severe weather. We'll take a closer look at that here in just a little bit, Bill. Jim, thank you very much. Today is Memorial Day, and it is a day to remember all of our armed forces who died while serving our country. Many folks across the Commonwealth will be taking part in special services today to show their respect. WKYT's Mark Barber is live from Lexington Cemetery this morning. Mark, when does this memorial service there start today? Good morning, Bill. The memorial service here will start at 11 a.m. The men and women are in our military who paid the ultimate sacrifice will be honored today with a three-volley salute, the presentation of covers, as well as the playing of taps. Now, the featured speaker for the annual event here at the Lexington Cemetery is U.S. Army veteran John Larson. He was the first full-time public defender in Fayette County, and he now works with the Veterans Treatment Court, which gives second chances to struggling veterans. Another large Memorial Day ceremony will be at Camp Camp Nelson Cemetery in Jesmond County. On Saturday, hundreds of Boy Scouts honored those who laid down their lives by placing flags on more than 12,000 graves in the cemetery. During today's program, Michael E. Crutcher Sr. will be speaking as Frederick Douglass and Jim Sayer will be speaking as Abraham Lincoln. That service also will begin at 11 a.m. Live in Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. Great, Mark, thank you very much. Several crews from surrounding counties are going to be heading back out to Mercer County later today to continue looking for a missing person. Crews went out to the Brooklyn Bridge off US 68 at the Palisades just after 6 o'clock last night. Witnesses told firefighters that they saw someone fall off of a jet ski and into the water. We're told that two people were having some mechanical issues with their jet ski and tried to fix it while out on the water. The driver told firefighters at one point he turned around and his passenger was gone. Search crews are still hoping to find the missing person alive. So it's not a tremendously deep area, and the good news, if there is any good news in a situation like this, is that the river is not rapidly moving. The current is fairly quiet right now. Now we've called both Mercer and Jessamine County authorities overnight. They tell us the missing person has not yet been found. As more of you are set to head home today, as the holiday weekend ends, we want to pass along a reminder to try to stay safe on the roads. Already there have been three deadly accidents on central Kentucky roadways. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is live near the interstate with more. Hillary. Good morning, Bill. That's right. As this holiday weekend does wrap up, thousands will be out here on the roads heading home after the holiday weekend. And as you mentioned, unfortunately, it's already be, been a deadly one out here on central Kentucky roadways. Travel experts anticipate this weekend will bring the highest volume of traffic for the holiday in at least a decade. 
Police say they go into this weekend hoping they do not have to work any fatalities, but know with the increased traffic and celebrations, it is likely. Unfortunately, that was the case for officers in Georgetown after a cyclist riding in the Horsey 100 was hit and killed on Saturday. Yesterday, other riders at the annual event remembered well known Lexington attorney, 57 year old Mark Hinkle, who investigators say was hit head on by a pickup driven by Olindo Paz Salvador while on mile 99. Of his 100 mile ride. Paz Salvador is charged with murder, and police say he was driving under the influence at the time of that crash. Now, also in Scott County, earlier on Saturday, a two vehicle crash on Interstate 64 claimed the life of 13 year old eighth grader Emily Sams from Bourbon County. And police are really just encouraging folks as they head out on the roads today to stay alert and wear your seatbelts. Live in Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. All right, good advice, and thank you, Hillary. A central Kentucky community is remembering a teenager who was killed in a crash over the weekend. Friends and family of 13 year old Emily Sams gathered at Bourbon County Middle School last night for a vigil. Police say Emily and her parents were on Interstate 64 in Scott County when another car hit them. They were on their way to a volleyball tournament in Louisville. Emily died in the wreck, and emergency crews rushed both of her parents to the hospital. Her friends say they can't imagine going back. Back to school without her. First thing that I thought about was her seat at lunch. You know, I, I know where she sits every single day. And uh, you know, Tuesday when we come back, you know, she's she's not going to be there. And <sighs> Emily's mother Shella is still in critical condition at UK Chandler Hospital. A fire destroyed two homes and damaged a church yesterday afternoon in Louisville. Firefighters say that fire started in a home next to a church during service. Firefighters were able to stop the fire from spreading to the church, but they say the flames damaged the outside of it. The manager of one of the properties says his renters lost everything. I was kind of under the impression that the steps had burned in the back a little. I had no idea it was a total loss. Uh, Surprise, huge surprise. The Red Cross is helping the people who lived at the homes. No one was hurt. Investigators are still trying to figure out what started the fire. We have an update this morning for you regarding rezoning for Fayette County Public Schools. The Fayette County School Board will vote on whether to accept the committee's plan for rezoning early next month. If the proposal is accepted, there will be several changes impacting thousands of families in Lexington. Old Bridge will be included in the rest of the Palomar neighborhood, sending students to Rosa Parks Elementary starting in 2016. Huntington Hills and Squire Oaks will move to Tates Creek Middle and High Schools. Seven Parks will be assigned to Picadome Elementary. Copperfield, Plantation and Clemens Heights are assigned to Jesse Clark Middle. Our news partners at the Herald Leader report more than 1,600 students will move to new schools. The plan will grandfather in students going into grades 5, 8, 11 and 12 when the new zones take effect. And students going into 10th grade if they're switching to the new high school. They the school board will be holding a final input session starting at 5.30 Wednesday, June 3rd, and they will vote on the proposal after that meeting. The school board also wrapped up its transition to a new search firm that will find a new superintendent. We're told that McNamara Search now has all of the information from applicants who are interested in becoming the next Fayette County School Superintendent. The board hired a new firm after they fired search firm ProAct following what they called disturbing allegations against the CEO. The board hopes to name a new superintendent who can start in July. WKYT this morning just getting started. Nine minutes after five is the time, and famous comedian Bill Murray will be coming out with a new Netflix special later this year. We'll tell you some of the guest stars. That's coming up in about five minutes. And we'll likely be tracking some scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head into the afternoon and evening on this Memorial Day. I'll take a closer look coming up.